looking for. Probably this and this. I try so hard to get this to not be washed out. But I don't know if it's gonna happen. Let's test out new things today. Ooh. Hi. I pulled up the chat. Oh, it's right there too. Good morning. Sorry I started a little late. I was trying to, to figure out this new thing. Yeah. New app. Well, good morning. Nice. We do. Let's see. Is the chat showing up on screen one time or two times for you guys? Right now, for me, it's on both sides. I'll check on my computer. Oh, nice. Okay, that's probably just the app being nice. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> that looks way better. Yeah, there's a little watermark. You have to pay like 20 bucks a month, build once a year in order to get rid of the watermark, which means you're like just dropping like $140. So I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, that's a big oof. Favorite office character? I've been thinking a lot about this. Possibly, um, Possibly Erin Hannon, because really she is one of the least problematic people on the office. Um, yeah. I still have to think about it, but there's a lot of problematic people on the office. My favorite food is probably like really good Chinese food. I know. <laughs> That is perfectly fine. I'm happy for you. I do chocolate milk. I've got mold here. No, that's me. She's just chilling, having a good time. Mr. Wonka doesn't like mold very much. Favorite uncomfortable episode of The Office? Ooh. I mean, probably dinner party. It's a classic. Um, my favorite all-time episode of The Office is um, the injury. Did okay. Well, definitely dinner party between dinner party and Scott's tots. But I never skip Scott's tots. I didn't realize that was a thing that people did. Good morning. I missed it. I didn't like Dinner Party until I watched the, uh, the bloopers. It was too stressful for me before that. 
Hi. This happened today. Um, I also have a thing so that theoretically, if somebody follows or um, anything, d does anything, then it'll pop up on the screen. And I was going to have it to where donations would show up too, but I have to figure out how to get it to only be new donations and not like a constant ticker of like any time someone's donated. <laughs> Isn't the whole show a grouper reel? <laughs> uh, I mean, kinda. They're like good actors, but it's funny. Mr. Wonka review? You can do like job performance. I'd say he's doing overall like a six or seven out of 10. He's He's been bumped down a few points because Anytime I take him out of his enclosure, he gets really cranky and wants to attack things. And then I'm like, I don't want to grab you if you're cranky, because I don't want him to bite me. Even though he probably won't, it's a little not fun. Right now he's trying to intimidate the dog. And submit at the same time? I don't know. Lizard body language is funny. Today, we're just uh, testing out this app and also drinking coffee and also I have muffins. And also if we get bored, we can go through my CD collection or my movie collection. And I can just talk and talk and talk all about my favorite things. <laughs> Unless you guys have any other ideas. Um, probably don't want to do music today because it's uh, pretty tiring. Um, and I have been not feeling super great. Play a song on piano? Well, I mean, I could try. It's not gonna be very good. The Hunger Games were a really big part of my junior high experience. I wanna learn to play piano, that's why I have it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> Thanks. I don't feel that bad, just like a little bad, you know? Like, just enough to be like, but not enough to like have to do anything about it. So it's okay. I watched The Office all the way through, but um, I was watching it while it was airing. And so it was a lot more fun to watch, I think, like waiting for each episode to come out every week than um, to watch it through on Netflix, like well past the day that it's been done. I do think there are some really good episodes after Michael left, but overall it, it wasn't as good. I know. Ooh, nice. Am I allergic to mornings? Uh, not technically, but I'm not a morning person. I'm not like angry in the mornings. I'm just like a little disoriented, you know? <laughs> Michael's character arc was so good. Okay, honestly though, I'd say I like him, his and Holly's uh, story arc better than Jim and Pam's. I think because Michael is so like flippant and not serious at all for the entire series until Holly walks in the room and then you just see him like like calm down and be really really serious and he knows exactly what he wants and it's really sweet I'm sorry if you guys don't watch The Office <laughs> we're just giving away everything what is it Mr. Wonka? I think it disappears after a couple seconds, but nobody says anything. 
This mug is great. It's a switch foot mug. So it has the album art for learning to breathe on it. And then it has lyrics from the song learning to breathe that has to do with the morning time. But it's great. I don't have sneezing fits when I wake up. Last week I had sneezing fits like four nights in a row at 11 p.m. It was really weird. I don't know what would consistently change in my environment that I'd start sneezing at 11, but. Ooh, that's okay. Well, I'm gonna grab my box of CDs from underneath my bed. You can take a look at them. Are you done, Kimball? Okay, you can go. Just grab one for now. Hey. Allergy to the night. Okay. Is that better framing? My hair is soft today, which means it isn't holding any shape. That's okay. It is a coffee mug. It has coffee in it. <coughs> There's the morning sneezes. Well, thanks. Well, to start off, we've got Deep Feeling Magic Bean, which is my friend Jesse Kale. Then also his other CD he hasn't released yet that I should probably listen to. I haven't opened it yet. I got these at Atlas Black last year, which is an event that Secret Midnight Press puts on. And they invited me to them indefinitely, so you guys can come and see me whenever there's another one. This is my Vice Versa's Switchfoot CD, but I don't know where the CD part is. So, there's that. I'm going to change the stream title. Notification is still bell is fast. <laughs> yep, we're all professional now. Guys, talking. Okay. Is this fun for you guys? Is this a good idea? I'm just kind of improvising here. <laughs> nice morning coffee at 3 p.m. Yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna plug my iPad in. Maybe I should get more coffee so I'm more like, ah! Take some Red Bulls. I have one Red Bull. They're kind of gross, though. All 
those things. Oh, look. Ta da. There's the matching. I love looking at the inserts in CDs. Because then we get like. Especially with bands from the early 2000s, like really, really old pictures of them. And it's fun. I love CDs. I used to drive a car that didn't have an aux, and so I could only listen to CDs. I know, right? High quality stream. I got this when I was in probably fourth grade. The Jonas Brothers. Lines, vines, and trying times. Oh wait, no, this is a little bit longer. That's not even the name of this album. This has a CD-ROM bonus CD? I didn't even realize. Good morning. I was a pretty big Jonas Brothers fan. Let's see. More Switchfoot. boys. Here's something I forget about. <laughs> nice. I used to be a huge Need to Breathe fan. Like, they were my favorite band before I learned about Switchfoot and 21 Pilots. And I don't listen to them anymore, but some pretty formative stuff there. Why, thank you. I like the upgrades. This is, okay, I think this is the first CD I ever bought with my own money. Um, which is like a significant thing, I guess, that people ask you about for the rest of your life. It is High School Musical 2. And the CD case is broken, but it's okay. Look at that CD art. Incredible. <laughs> I used to, like, on my list of things to do as a kid for entertainment was, like, play with Legos, play with Lincoln Logs, I don't know, play video games. <laughs> on my list would be, like, go listen to CDs and learn the lyrics by reading them. And... This was one of those. Wow, that font. <laughs> it's like Comic Sans, but worse. That's hilarious. I don't know, the 2010s. Well, this was before that, I think. Let's see. Copyright 2007. This is a, another Need to Breathe CD that, oh hey, thanks for following. A friend bought for me just to be nice, and I still think about it, because it was very nice of them. I know, that was such a great experience. They sold like a special edition of this CD at Cracker Barrel, and so my friend that worked at Cracker Barrel just bought it for me. And I was like, thank you. Oh my word. Does anyone know Barlow Girl? They were like, <laughs> they were like a band made up of sisters. And I was like, oh, such a big fan. Honestly, I think it's because I didn't know there was other music out there. Like, I didn't, I didn't know how to find music. But they have some good, some good stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the flashbacks. More Switchfoot. This is their first CD. It's really good. 
I got this in the $5 bin at Walmart. I'm pretty proud of it. What is this? <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know I had that. Ooh, I found this for 99 cents at a Goodwill in LA. And, oh, you, I still have the price tag on it. And I bought it just because a friend showed me the song, The Scientist, in sixth grade. And I'd forgotten about the band. And it had been, that song had been stuck in my head for like two days. And so I saw this at Goodwill and I was like, yeah, why not? And that's what got me into Coldplay. This CD right here. And I went and bought the next CD. And then the next CD. This is kind of what got me into like actually listening to Switchfoot. Hi! I got this at a store that was going out of business and this showed me like a lot more of their stuff because I'd really only listened to like two albums. Um, and then I heard Lonely Nation and like then I actually decided to like listen to what they were saying. Don't Panic is so good. That's honestly one of my favorite songs by them as an entire band. Because I've now, of course, gone through and listened to their entire discography. But Fiction Family, which is the band that John Foreman is in with some of his friends. Nice! Yeah, this is a good CD. I don't know who Tyler Chester is, but I guess he's on this. Nice. Oh, transferring CDs to your MP3 players. It's incredible. Those were the days. Here's more need to breathe. Ta -da. Good stuff. Now I can organize this by band. I love when things are organized and make sense. What are some CDs that you guys remember getting? Do you have like your, your first CD purchase that you remember? Underground bands? Yeah. Microwave? I just bought them on vinyl. Um, the New Respects are so good. They're totally different sounds, <laughs> those two bands, but they're both really good. Um, what else? I know that I know of them. That's all that's coming to me right now. No. Ah, uh, beautiful at them. I'm gonna look at this insert. Oh, that's so sweet. Ooh, nice. They recorded this album, they were in the studio for like 13 days. That's it. That's insane. For my band's three songs, we were in the studio for a week. I did a whole album in 13 days. Mandisa, oh my goodness. A true classic.
sister's school, they used to make them listen to Mandisa's Good Morning every single day, thinking it would be nice and fun, but now I think she just hates the song. I, I honestly, I'm kind of torn with record players. I kind of go back and forth. Like, I'm, I'm really glad that I have one, but also it was quite a bit of an investment for something that I don't use that often. So that's really up to you and like how, how much you think you'll use it. So, I don't know. I'm glad I have it, but I don't know. <laughs> Boys in the sink. Wow, a true classic. I'm gonna ask if we have more coffee. Interesting. Hello. Welcome to the chat. I hope you're having a great day. Oh hey, thanks for following. I didn't even see the little the little thing, but that was four minutes ago. It's all gone. That's why I'm wondering if we have more. Cosmo Shell Drakes. Interesting. <laughs> I'll look it up. Just because it sounds like fun. Cosmo Sheldrake. I thought he was going to be somebody super weird by that name. He just looks like a normal dude. Good for him. <laughs> Yesterday I saw someone on TikTok that I saw open, like as an opening act one time. It really waked my brain out. Cause I was like, this person looks familiar, but they're verified on TikTok. And it was just cause I'd seen them sing songs before. Should I get the other box of CDs? I think so. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Have a good time. We'll see you later. CD box number two. What is this? Oh. I think this one's a little more, a little more spicy. What's up? I'm trying a new streaming format. And so we're, we're going through the Streamlabs app right now. So in order to test it out, I figured I'd just have coffee and breakfast with everyone. So we're also going through all my old CDs. Oh, Josh, my mom is trying to get a hold of your mom through Facebook. <laughs> 
which I was just gonna DM you or your sister. But since you're here, let her know. <laughs> I'd be like eight years old saying that. Oof. <laughs> A three hour plane ride? Where did you come from? And where did you go? Where did you come from, Cutter My Joe? Ooh, yay! New pictures. <laughs> I have an account on TikTok, I just don't really use it other than to watch other people. Future ambient vibey type music? Yes. I will grab it right now. Oh, <laughs> your mom, she's trying to, my mom is trying to get a hold of your mom. Did you get that much? Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, it's back to the stream. This is Late Night Feeler by the artist Deep Feeling Magic Being. Oh my word, I'm wearing his merch today. I didn't even realize it. That's because I bought this before it was his artist name. But his name is Jesse Kale. He's a fantastic person and I love him so much. But all of this is like instrumental, um, like reading poetry, but in different languages, like just the ultimate vibe. Um, I. Heard it, when I heard it for the first time, I was like two minutes in and was like already sobbing. It's a great time. So, look that up. Michigan, ooh, nice. <laughs> nice, that works. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass it along. Okay, CD box number two. This is by Raquel Langlinne. She was a like camp counselor <laughs> for me at one point. And she um she like made this CD to raise money for a trip, like a mission trip she was going on. And so it's the CD cover is made out of a plastic like a paper bag, which is actually kinda cool because they just like took a stamp and yeah, I don't remember if there's CD art. If it's, oh my word, that's right. They hand wrote the album credits, which is like, I don't know. Oh, that's funny. I like know more of these people now. It's just the level of like a do-it-yourself type crafty work that I want to be at, you know? You yeah, right? Yeah, so she had a, a show that we went to, like a benefit, like to raise money for her trip, and then they sold these CDs at the door. If I can get it to fit, the only thing is that the credits don't like to fit inside the paper bag all the time. Oh my word, there's a picture in there too, I forgot. You guys wanna see Raquel? There she is. Aww. I think she's still making music. I don't remember. So there's that. It sounds like a ton of work. <laughs> Poll in the Discord. Go for it. I've made a couple, but they're not funny. I try to be funny and it's just not. Okay, let's start from this end. Switch foot, where the light shines through. Switch foot again, but this time it's sign. <laughs> I should probably give this one away somehow. Um, I got this signed one because one time we went to a show for my birthday and they were selling signed copies of it and my friend Kendra bought it for me. Because I was like, I don't need it because I already have one. She's like, but you want it though, don't you? And I was like, yeah. And so she's like, okay, I'll buy it for you. That was very sweet. Oof. That's okay. I'm a unique type of funny. Thank you. I feel like I'm situationally funny, but not like, I can't like make funny videos, you know? I don't know. Maybe I can just settle with them being subpar videos. Also, have a good time, Marvin. I'll see you later. Hi, Chestnut. <laughs> Oh, this is my Vesper Teen CD. I got it signed by Colin, and this is when Jesse 
previously mentioned, Jesse, was in the band. He was like touring with them. And that's how I met Jesse. Um, going to the show kind of changed a lot for me because that was the first like small show I'd been to. That um, I know, that was such a good idea. Chestnut suggested using this app. But going to that show was like the first time I'd been to a small artist's show and I saw how much fun it was. And so then I just started going to like every concert that I could. And it was a really good time. This is Tyson Motzenbacher. Um, I got this CD because uh, his manager or somebody like quit on him in the middle of tour. And so he had to go on Twitter and like ask everyone if they could help run merch for him. Um, and so I was already wanting to go to the show, but like couldn't justify a $30 ticket to see him because he was opening. So like 30 bucks, a two hour drive to a show that none of my friends wanted to go to, um, to see him play like four or five songs. But then he was like, I need people to run merch. You can get him for free. I just need someone to be there. And so I did that. And then because of that, he like gave me the CD and signed it and it was really sweet and it was really fun. And I still got to see the whole show because it was a pretty small venue, but, oh, posture check. Thanks. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I could probably learn. It was not fine. We're all good. Um, yeah, I listened to his vinyl of a different album yesterday and I cried. It's good stuff. Ren Collective, but back when they were called Ren Collective Experiment, because they later decided they weren't an experiment anymore and just changed it to Ren Collective. <laughs> That was a fun band. They have a female drummer. I think she doesn't drum all the time, but for when she does drum, it's really cool. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, High School Musical 3. Interesting. Ugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> This is the only High School Musical movie I don't know all the words to. Ooh, I saved up, or I don't know if I saved up, but I specifically bought this from Target because they had the Target exclusive with like fake Polaroids in them, um, which are kind of funny. I mean, they're like good, but just like, I don't know. Um, and then I didn't like the album, so that was too bad. Modern Baseball is good. I don't listen to them a ton, and I'm really sad that they're not together anymore. But I do really like some of their songs. I'm doing good. I'm a little sleepy. Oh, okay, this was my favorite childhood band. This was the first concert I ever saw. I think I was five years old. The band is called Jump Five, <laughs> and it's everything the early 2000s needed. <laughs> I used to, oh my goodness, as like a six year old, I used to choreograph dances to these songs and perform them in my room by myself. Oh, look at these children. Oh my goodness. Where are they now? What are they doing? They all had braces. These poor kids. Ugh. <laughs> Incredible. Ooh, that'd be fun. I don't listen to them enough to like know their music well enough to cover it, but that sounds really fun. This is one of my favorite Broadway productions. Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat with Donny Osmond as the lead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, what more do you need to know? I used to watch the stage production of this on VHS, and it was one of my favorite movies as a child. No joke. I just loved, I just loved it. R5, oh, incredible. 
incredible. Yeah. Well, go have fun. Thanks for showing up. Uh, the Hunger Games Catching Fire soundtrack. I bought this at Hot Topic. It went back and forth on it because the $12 or however much it was was like a commitment for me. And so I went into the Hot Topic like four different times that day and just like held it and looked at it. And then I eventually decided to get it. There's some good artists on this. Coldplay, Sia, Pauline Mears. Incredible. It is so good. Ugh, I love the Hunger Games. You know, that was a good time. I watched them all pretty recently and they held up. Like, they were still good. Incredible. This was a good CD. Honestly. I liked this one a lot. What else? Ooh, Hits from Le Miserable. One of the, like, three Broadway productions that I actually enjoy still. It's not the full soundtrack, but it's most of it. <laughs> this is the only Reliant K album that I own. I bought it because I knew somebody that really liked Reliant K and I wanted them to like me but I didn't like it very much and so so I don't listen to this it was pretty good but not my favorite you know it's okay <laughs> yeah I was just like please be cheaper oh this is Isley I know like half the band. They're really nice people. <laughs> this is an old CD. I got it for two dollars. <laughs> it's good. A good time. <sighs> Hairspray, which I was only interested in because Zac Efron was in it. But also Amanda Bynes, and that's great. <gasps> and Queen Latifah, God bless. Where is she today? I love her. I want to be your best friend. More Isley. I really like this album, actually. It's called Combinations. I like the songs. I don't remember which songs I like on this one. I haven't listened to them in a long time. Oh, Pally Royale. Anyone know Pally Royale? Technically, I got this tattoo to match them, even though I don't actively listen to this band, <laughs> which is kind of funny, because now, like, they're matching with me, and they didn't want to be, and I'm matching with them, and I don't really care to, but, yeah, look at this, though. That's beautiful. This guy, like, did all the drawings for it. I love it. Oh, they also signed this one, which is nice of them. I met them a few times. They're wild. <laughs> Ooh. The John Foreman EPs. I don't have this one in here because I took it out and got John to sign the cover for it. But these are John Foreman's EPs. Yeah, their aesthetic is incredible. If nothing else, they've got their aesthetic together. <laughs> but yeah, these are some of my favorite projects ever. It's John Foreman, who's the lead singer for Switchfoot, and he um, did EPs for the four seasons of, of the year, I guess. Um, and they're beautiful, and I love them very much. I listen to those a lot, in like any mood. Here's a nice picture of Jesse Kale and Josh Dunn that's just in here for some reason. My <laughs> broken <laughs> Hamilton CDs that I bought. Oh my goodness, it's like really struggling. I don't, where's the CD part? Oh my goodness. This has been well loved. 
uh, is probably, the other one's probably stolen from someone. But, uh, oh man, none of this is together. Maybe not very well loved. It looks like it's been stomped on 20 times. I bought this in probably 2018, 2017. I don't know, somewhere around there. <laughs> yeah, it didn't, it wasn't always in my possession. Like it spent half the time in my mom's car. So that's probably where it got chomped. It got like a big old bite taken out of it. Stomped on with love. <laughs> uh, look at these things. Oh man, here's a little note that one time I was playing at a coffee shop and <laughs> this little kid drew me a picture and his mom wrote a note and was like, my son says thank you for singing to him. He loved hearing you. <clears throat> play. His name was Cooper, and I kept it in my guitar case for a long time. It's like all covered in coffee because someone spilled on it. And it was... Ugh, thanks Cooper. Yeah, it's there the whole time, but you can't see it because it's like, oh wait, no, it does just sneak up. There it is. <laughs> I know, right? But it really completes the whole look. Oh man, here's just a stack of photos from when I was like 15. These are wild. No, some are from like mission strips. Oof. A little cringy. Here's Jesse McCartney. Anyone remember him? Yeah, there is a way to remove it, but it's like, uh, like 16 bucks a month, $17 a month. It's kind of a little ridiculous at this point. More fiction family. That song I played, um, Mostly Prove Me Wrong is, is that on this album? It's on the other album. It's a good one. Oh yeah, it is on this one. Mostly. It's a good time. This is my half-brother. His name is Nathan. He played saxophone professionally for a little while. I didn't even know I had this. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's a sweet little dedication in there. Pacific? What's he doing now? I don't know. He doesn't really talk to us very much. This is a good one. Nice dude. The boys. This is the fancy one. From the website. With the, the inserts. So you get the of that action. And then these funny little photos of them being so moody. Incredible. And this is what it looks like without the thing in there. I know, right? Isn't that fun? It's a whole immersive experience. We love to see it. Bye! Apparently the big old vinyl does the same thing. <laughs> this is old Switchfoot. 
and this is when John decided to have a beard and it looks really funny. <laughs> he looks like 30. He looks almost older in these pictures than he does now. It's hilarious. Poor guy. Oh! Here's a movie ticket for Mockingjay part something. Probably part part two. It's a good time. No gravity. This one's cool. Does this one art fold out? I don't remember. Please don't break on me. Yeah. So the inside art folds out into a little poster that's like all connected. It's just a huge drawing. Which is pretty super cool. And then hidden throughout the drawing is um, the titles of all the songs. Like you can kind of see, you can't see there, <laughs> but that's pretty cool design. Uh, it came with a free song if you put in the little code, but it expired in 2007. Just a little too late. Nice. Ooh. Here's a little signed thing by Olin Rogers. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. He's a good dude. Ooh, there's like a bunch of dust in here. <laughs> Pretty gross. Ew, that's definitely a bug. I'm gonna get that out of here. Let's put it on the floor for now. Where did that even come from? Dolly Parton Christmas? <laughs> Look at her just go. She's just living life. Doing her best. I love Dolly Parton so much. Switchfoot, more switchfoot. What is that? Oh man. <laughs> I burned <laughs> I burned my own version of regional at best. So I could listen to it in the car. And it's in this random other C D case. I don't know who I don't know who that is. <laughs> ah. That's pretty much it. Oh, here's some more movie tickets. And another signed thing by Olin Rogers. He's got a hoodie in his nose. And then a movie ticket to Captain America. But we don't know which one. Saturday, May 7th. There's no telling. Ooh. Ooh. I'm feeling pretty good. Is what actually real? The regional at best? I mean, technically it is. Cause I like found the, uh, I found the tracks online and downloaded them through some Dropbox. It was the first Captain America? That's pretty cool. Um, so like, it's real, but like, I also made it myself. So it's not real, but it is like, kind of real. Hello! Yeah, they have very few physical copies of it. Um, cause they probably didn't have money to print very many at the time. Um, I love that. 
We love the random leftover obsessive knowledge of Marvel movies. Because I definitely have that kind of random knowledge about other things. Well, that was a great little journey through the CDs with you guys. I have some more in my car, but this is the bulk of them. What do we hate losing but always take? Is this a Captain America quote? Yeah. Yeah, there are real copies, but they're like really tough to find. What do we take but always hate losing? I don't know. What's the answer? Tell me. Take, we take time, but we hate losing time? I guess. Big brain. <laughs> uh. Well, I don't know if I really have any other collections to go through. I'm glad this new, uh, this new platform works. The stream using Streamlabs. <laughs> All right, well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this stream, go get some coffee, some more coffee, and then I can be back with a little bit of gaming so we can keep hanging out for like another hour. Does that sound good? Because I kind of ran out of stuff to do here and don't want to just like sit here and stare at you. <laughs> Infinity coffee. Pretty much, yeah. We love the coffee. For sure. Hopefully, pretty soon I'll be able to get CDs of my own, and then you guys can all start your own collections of my stuff. Cool. All right. Well, I will see you guys in a minute. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a, a good next two minutes.